we will go back because we had the agreement with Alex not a very long walk yeah Alex <laughs> Honestly speaking, guys, I like this small village. It's rather private and what I like here, the houses are rather far from each other. So you have neighbors, but not very close to you. Алекс, would you like to add something to my story? Что-нибудь добавить хочешь? Mm -hmm. Ты все рассказал. Все? Алекс mm -hmm. says nothing to add. Ну, до провода здесь нет, какой там колодец мы не дошли. Yeah. They do not have central water here. Some people dig. Some people dig wells or they do, I don't know what is the English name, Skvazhina. Uh, that is some very, very deep well in the soil. That is a rather expensive system. I mean this uh, private water digging very very expensive and the problem is you can dig the well but there won't be water they asked about the work ask if we have any work for them work. alex work. worked <laughs> work. Work. yeah We do not have work because Alex works a lot. Usually such people are called gastarbeiter. That is the German uh, word. Uh, Gast, that is guest. Arbeiter, that is worker. So the worker that comes from another country. And usually they are not highly qualified specialists. Uh, they work... Uh, on the land usually or in some construction Alex from what countries we usually have workers here Uzbekistan Tajikistan Alex says usually from Uzbekistan Kazakhstan Tajikistan so from different countries but mostly from these ones usually these workers live in very poor conditions in very bad conditions they save money on everything and they send money to their uh, families so they save as much as possible and uh, send the money to their families to the, in other countries Usually they do not get much for their work and they usually work many, many hours during the day from, from morning till sunset. Usually they eat very simple food such as bread, pasta, yeah, Alex. Mm -hmm. and save on everything. Алекс такой же гастробайтер. Алекс says that he is in Kazakhstan. He is also a gastarbeiter. Alex, do you remember some time ago that this land was on sale and they wanted 3 million rubles for it? Here, yeah, here was a very old uh, village house, they demolished it and put such brick house here. And I'm not sure that you see it, over there is the yellow pipe, that means uh, gas. Yellow pipes, that is gas. Mm -hmm. 
Also, guys, in the village there are usually a lot of dogs. They are running everywhere and that is rather dangerous, especially if you walk with your own dog. They are not stray dogs, they usually have owners, uh, but those owners usually let these dogs walk freely. You see? Very muddy dog over there. And we need to go there, so we are afraid, yeah, Alex? <laughs> so let's go here. Oh, one more. That is good that we are without Sheffield. But usually, guys, if uh, the dog is not in a group of dogs, uh, it is not very dangerous. But if it is a group of dogs and they see you with your own dog, they can attack. This one is, well, rather friendly. She is just walking here and doesn't want to attack anyone. But that is just because she is without her friends. <laughs> or he, I don't know, that is he. So guys, that is the end of the village. No official sign here that it is the end. And over here start some Dutch communities. That is one Dutch community, over there another one. And if to go that way, there will be three or four Dutch communities. They are very, very close. Let's go just uh, a little bit along this road, because there is no exit over there. And we have to go back. I think you see the difference. Uh, here high fences, here a lot of houses, they are very close to each other. So that is Dutch community. A lot, a lot of buildings on one small property. And that will be one road and some smaller roads go to the left and to the right. Usually Dutch communities have some information stand, uh, so the name, uh, some, I don't know, some bank information. Uh, that is the map. If you are for the first time here, you can uh, find the Dutch, the number of Dutch you need. And I think they have something with the gates, maybe they are broken because you see uh, there was some uh, some gate. I think it's out of order, or maybe they just uh, decided that they do not need it at the moment. And that is just someone's private system, yeah, Alex. <laughs> That is just some some stick. <laughs> Alex, show how it works. Yeah. Yeah, and the car goes. Very very simple system. I think it is done specially for the strangers. So the strangers uh, see such gates and they do not go. So guys, we are back to our Dutch community and also I would like to tell just a few words about the electricity. We'll show you how it will be if we finally sign the contract with the state electricity company. It will look like this, you see? the electricity meters and everyone can come close and uh, check what numbers they have. You see and they are everywhere. That is the number. 
the number of dacha and the electricity meter. Also, guys, today we were almost eaten <laughs> by a tick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a tick wanted to eat me. <laughs> that was horrible. So, guys, I thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this small walk with us. Uh, some more episodes, some more videos in the future. So, subscribe to our channel and we shall see with you very soon. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Пока!